there is a famous story of a Canadian electrical company who decided to have a brainstorming session to come up with ideas on how to deal with ice deposits weighing down and damaging the power lines. Technicians were being sent up the icy pylons to shake the ice off the lines. And the group spent the whole morning looking at the problem of how to shake the snow off the power lines, but got nowhere. Frustrated and running out of ideas, the group took a coffee break. During the break, one person shared how he was once chased by a bear who followed him up a pole. As the laughter died down, someone suggested jokingly, why don't we get the bears to climb up for us? They're large enough to shake the poles. How could we entice them, asks another. What do bears like? Well, we could put honey pots on top of the pylons, someone else said. But how would we get honey pots up there, asked another. We could use a helicopter to drop the honey. As the idea of using a helicopter came to the group, so did the idea that the wind from the helicopter blades could actually blow the snow off the lines. And that, as the story goes, became the final solution. Now what's important about this story is that to get to the helicopter solution, the team had to first go through the wild and crazy ideas of the bear and the honey. The helicopter was not part of the original idea and the bear and the honey pot formed no part of the final solution. We must ask the right questions to get the right answers. Shaking the power lines was a limiting inside-the-box statement. Instead, the question should have been more open from the beginning, such as, how do we remove the snow from the power lines?